Okay, so uh, welcome back to the to the Schubert seminar uh, with uh, Jakub Konski uh, on his second part of his talk. Please take it away. Okay, thank you. Uh, now I want to talk about. I told you that equivalent K theory is a really nice computational tool, and I showed some way to define characteristic in classes using resolution of singularities. Now I want to talk about some very specific characteristic class, which is stable envelope. Uh, it's defined in three types, in cohomology by Malvik and Okunkov, K-theory by Okunkov and Okunkov and Smirnov, and elliptic theory by Agench and Okunkov. And I want to focus only on the K-theoretical part of the story. Uh, then, and I will swipe a lot of details under the rack. Table envelopes are a very broad subject, and I will define them only for G mod B, only for some specific uh, choice of parameters. And I will give like, okay, I want to give explicit formula for many things. Sorry. Uh, so, what is a stable envelope? It is a class which depends on a uh, parameter called slope. This parameter is a fractional character of the torus and a fixed point in G mod B. And to the choice of these two things, we assign a class in the equivalent K theory of G mod B with an additional parameter. Okay. <clears throat> so this class is defined axiomatically uh, for. So it's the only class which satisfies some sort of condition, some set of conditions. Uh, okay, we want, and I present you some general form of these conditions. To define stable envelope, this class, we own by localization theorem, we only need to say how the polynomials, okay, with one, variable how the poly such polynomials look like for every fixed point w prime fixed point w prime and okay first condition oh and i probably should say uh the class stuff lambda of w uh some should somehow deform uh the fundamental class of the Schubert variety XW. This is the idea. Uh, the first condition says that this class is zero outside of the Schubert variety. If we take a fixed point outside, then we obtain zero. Second one tells us that the at the middle of the cell, we have some explicit formula. This, this formula is actually some fundamental class of some variety in, in cotangent bundle, but uh, let's just say that it is something explicit. And the remaining two axioms tells us something what happened for the other point in the Schubert variety. And we know that this polynomial is divisible by something explicit, so it cannot be too small. And we have some restriction at monomials which may appear in this polynomial. So this polynomial can be too big because only specific monomials can occur. And somehow these two things, together with the fact that this class, this bunch of polynomials comes from the some global class in equivalent K theory, allow to say that there's at most one class satisfying his four properties. Okay, what is, it's, it's easy to say that there is at most one class, but it's harder to say that there exists class satisfying his properties. Okay, <clears throat> and our aim is to find some element in equivalent K theory of both Samuelson with probably some parameter such that if we push it forward, then we obtained, we obtain exactly this class. 
then we may um, study, okay, and we want this thing to be as explicit as possible. Then we may study the stable envelope using the geometry of both some and varieties. And this but some and varieties are really well studied, so we know a lot about them. Okay. And first, what is what was already known? What was in <coughs> cohomology, such problem was solved in three papers by Fahar Rimani, Rimani Varchenko, and Aluf Michal Jasur Mansu uh, by something, some variation of Chern Schwarz MacPherson class. In K theory, for a special value of slope parameter, some okay, small anti ample slope. This was solved by Aluf Michal Jasur Mansu, Peher Rimani, and Weber, and there is also my paper. And our goal with Andre was to generalize this result to the case of arbitrary slope. There is also work in elliptic theory by Rimani Weber and Kumar Rimani Weber. And maybe, uh, okay, just uh, I want a little reparameterization. I will use the notation MCW lambda for stable envelope. Uh, this is because I want this is stable envelope with some reparameterization. This reparameterization is harmless, is on the level of this additional parameter, but I want this to have uh, exactly the formulas. Okay, to, formulas are correct if I use this thing, but it's easy to compute stable envelopes from this thing. Okay, so first let me review these results here. Okay, so they define something called motivic term class of interior, which is element in the equivalent K theory of both Samuelson, which first, if we push it forward, then to the K theory of G mod B, okay, forget about this, then we obtain the stable envelope. Moreover, this thing is explicit in a sense that we may write the polynomials, which def which we have if we fix a fixed hey, point. Yeah. In right, right, right. Now, um, since I'm going to a party at six thirty, that's in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. Yeah. My costume was very highly appreciated. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Okay, so uh -huh. if we have any fixed spot, I, I didn't hear, sorry. Okay. If we have a fixed point here. Can, can you repeat the question maybe, maybe louder? All right, not sure if there is a question. So let, let's continue, and if there is a question, maybe we can read it in chat. Okay. Okay. So, if okay, uh, so if we have a fixed point, then this class, the polynomial defining this class, uh, can be explicitly given by a rather easy formula, we decompose the fixed point, the tangent variety as some as one dimensional uh, tangent space as a one, sum of one dimensional representations. And this is just we multiply some factors for every uh, one dimension, every weight here. When alpha of that tau is either one plus y divided by tau or one plus y divided by tau, uh, I don't want to give explicit conditions here, but they depend on how the boundary of what some look around the point C. Okay, so this is a rather easy formula, <coughs> and we may using uh, left and three and row we get some information about stable envelope. Okay, and we want to 
generalize this to the case of arbitrary slope. So first, let me give you an answer. Okay. So sorry, sorry, Zoom is not working. Sorry, I have some technical problems. Okay, okay. Okay, so let me give you an answer. We want to know to obtain the stable envelope for any slope by pushing forward something from both Samuelson. So we take the answer for this specific value of slope. This is just the answer for lambda minus. And it turns out that it is enough to multiply it by some line bundle. Line bundle. OK. Uh, so this is again explicit, okay? If we describe how this line bundle looks like, this is explicit formula for some element in the equivalent K theory, which we might, which gives us this stable envelope for arbitrary slope. Okay, so how to obtain this line bundle? If we have any character here, <coughs> then we may, there is classical, that it induces some line bundle over G mod B. So this is just, we take trivial line bundle character lambda over G, and we divide by B, and it turns out that it's still line bound. Okay, this is, I think, with minus lambda. lambda. We may, so we have some line bundle over G mod B. We pull it back to both Samuelson variety. And it turns out that it can be uniquely written as a veil divisor connected in the boundary. Okay, so if we only said that this thing should be, should be okay, connected in the boundary of both Samuelson, so in the exceptional locus, then there is only one value divisor that we have equality here. And this is really classic. This AI are computed by the Chevrolet formula. Chevrolet formula. Okay, and to obtain the rational numbers. AI knows belongs to Q. And to obtain our desired bundle, we just round up all AIs. Okay, so this is all fairly explicit, and this was our solution. This allows to compute stable envelope at all fixed points using what some else on, but this is painful because there, are, if you remember in the left three man rock, uh, if you remember in the left three man rock formula to compute the push forward, there is some over all fixed points. But there are a lot of fixed points in the bot Samuelson resolution. But there is better way. There is something, some inductive procedure. <coughs> One this is, can define operator using this geometry of bot Samuelson acting on the equivalent K theory of G mod B such that the operator applied to the KTR of a smaller fixed point, okay? If we fix a simple reflection S, we define operator TS lambda, such that if we apply TS lambda to the stable envelope of W and slope lambda, then we obtain the stable envelope of WS and lambda and some different slope, okay? This is, nice because you can compute stable envelope of any point applying this procedure many 
Okay, starting with the motivic stable envelope of identity, which is really simple thing, and using these operators. And this is a procedure which Mathematica can do for you, like if you encode this operator in Mathematica. Yeah. Okay, and I only want to say that uh, similar things were done for many other characteristic classes, uh, which are connected to Schubert varieties and using Bot Samuelson. I don't sadly have done time to prove this. So I will only give you an answer. <coughs> that what we obtain is some twisted version of the mazur lustig operator. Okay, if we only assume that this, okay, there's big formula where alpha s, ls is some bundle over g mod b and ls is a, a root corresponding to the reflection s. And we've only set in this formula that this exponent here is zero, then we obtain standard uh, the mazur logistic operator. And what we proved is that if we use exactly this TS lambda, then this computes the stable envelope of longer root from the stable envelope of smaller, of shorter root. If we put lambda, which is a little, and put lambda equal zero, then this thing here becomes standard the mazur logistic. And this, your theorem here is just the recursive formula of Aluf Michal Chashurman Su and Susa Al Zog. Okay. And this all follows from some inductive construction of both Samuelson varieties. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. At what hour I should stop? Like I have two minutes or 12 minutes? uh you only have 12 minutes i think the seminar is one hour okay we have i have 12 minutes so it's great okay so sorry i panicked because i think i have two minutes uh okay so i will be able to say a little how to obtain such a formula okay so it turns out that if we have a simple root we have element of value group and a simple root then I have a P1 bound than the, okay? And WS is greater than W, longer than W. Then the big Schubert variety, big, big Bot-Samuelson variety is a P1 bundle over Bot-Samuelson variety of smaller element, okay? This induces, the decomposition of a fixed point set to a big, okay, both Samuelson variety as two copies of fixed point set to the small both Samuelson variety. And if I want to compute, if I have some A in the K theory of big both Samuelson, and I want to compute its push forward. To the okay to the k theory of plug variety, then by Lefsch Triman Roch, I obtain some sum over some fixed point of the big but some else of something. I won't write everything uh, as this whole correction and but using this decomposition here. I can decompose this sum into two sums over fixed points of this <coughs> small but Samuelson resolution. And again, using Lefschetz Riemann Roch, it somehow happens that these two sums a compute push forwards, okay, this is pushed forward by WS, and this is pushed forward from the smaller but some other zone or from of some two others classes. So this is the idea how to connect things which comes from the big but some other resolution, 
with things which comes from the small bot samples and resolution. Uh, like you have this decomp canonical decomposition of the fixed point set. And then because the push forward is given by summing over fixed points, then okay, then pushing forward something from here is pushing forward of some two things from here. Okay. And in this formula, this Okay, these are exactly these two factors correspond. You don't need to guess this operator. If you do the calculation very carefully, then you obtain the form. Okay. Uh, okay, the other thing is that using slightly different uh, construction of both Samuelson, you may obtain some other operators called left, some left twisted the stick. And again, uh, if this is long formula, but if we put this exponent here equal to zero, then we obtain standard the left the stick of Michal Janarus and Su. And it turns, we proved that if we apply this operator, this operator to the stable envelope of point W, then we obtain stable envelope of a longer root. Now, now we obtain from W as W in the previous, okay. Now from W obtain as W in the previous slide from W we obtain, we obtained WS, okay. And if we put lambda equals zero, then, this formula is a formula of Michal Janarus and Su. So maybe uh, to conclude all these things, uh, this twisted de Masur, standard de Masur operators compute stable envelopes for, for this canonical value of slope parameter. If you want to compute them for different values of slope parameters, then you need to change a little this the Mazur logistic operators. And it turns out that only thing we need to do is to change exponent in one part. And this were our work, we define these twisted operators and uh, so the formulas. And maybe the last thing, there is something in the theory of stable envelopes called wall crossings. And this describe how stable envelope depend on parameters <coughs> like slope or some implicit parameters. Which, and it turns out that our inclusions connect the stable envelopes for different choices of parameters. So they are we are able to compute these air matrices using this inclusions. For example, okay, maybe I should. Uh, this inclusion here says how to compute the stable envelope from slope S lambda from stable envelope from slope A lambda. And if you work a little, you can give, comp using this thing, you can tell how the fully tell how the stable envelope depends on slow parameter. And this is called wall and matrix. And this recovers some results of Suzelle and Zong. On the other hand, this inclusion here, uh, it's not so obvious from this form, but can fully tell you how the stable envelope depends on something called weight chamber. Uh, but I think I don't want to go to the details here. Okay. And I think this is all I Yes. Yes. Sorry. I panicked in the middle. All right. Well, thank you very much. Any questions? <clears throat>